Hello everyone and now welcome to game number two between Sonic and Lucifer. All the way down across over here we have Lucifer spawning as the Grey Undead. Taking um, taking game number one in that series. Meanwhile we have Sonic spawning as the Yellow Night Elf over here on the top right hand side of the map. Gonna go ahead and slow things down just a bit as we do get to that two minute mark. Ancient of War. Um, Tr about to engage against this 5-4-3-3-3-1-1 um, creep camp and it's going to be very very important as this demon hunter will in fact be able to get to level 2. Now interestingly enough Lucifer has perhaps spawned in the actual best location to try and disrupt anything that this demon hunter archer is trying to do. You can see the archer is now trying to chase after this this acolyte and the acolyte will end up getting taken down meanwhile the ghouls are going to be coming across over here and they're now going to be going up against a warden that's actually what um lucifer um, did not want to see the warden is actually a very very strong counter to this um, ghoul opening as we now see a handful of wisps now being brought over all right there is a shadow strike already some early damage now being uh, coming across as well as you can see this low hit point shadow priest needs to get away and it looks like it will not be able to do exactly that as the low hit point ghoul will get taken out all right back off to the north still repair is now coming across here troll shadow priest is getting in some heals as the death knight now going to be coming across death knight could in fact have a death coil ready to go as the death knight and the warden are now battling it out lucifer is really putting on the pressure here as this entire ancient of war creep camp wisp now taken out as the death knight now looking to wander around once again that warden now caught on the wrong side of the rest of the armies here as we now may see a slight engagement going down that forest troll shadow priest could take a lot of easy damage early on if it takes two more shots from that death knight you got to imagine that a death coil will be coming in momentarily there is that moonwell use as a shadow strike does hit that ghoul all right all of this early hurt harassment is going for a lot of action early early on as this ghoul is trying to figure out where it can go perhaps it was trying to stand next to that ancient of war to get attacked on but the ancient of war is in fact training up an additional archer as the warden is still causing a bit of a slip here warden still looking at a very good amount of mana but the death knight should be able to get in a death coil once more and be able to heal up that ghoul back up to well near maximum hit points warden now runs into a sea of ghouls as the warden now is in a bit of trouble no unholy aura though as the death knight still well one i'm still putting a little bit of pressure or relieving pressure now as that ghoul is starting to head back over there death knight in, in the top right hand side of the map trying to put down a little bit of pressure once more the warden is going to get into position again as we can see the ghouls are trying to perhaps disrupt any sort of creeping that we are seeing the ancient of war down across over here all these units have been uh, walking down fairly far as we just see a lot of the units just running back and forth that warden perhaps going to be picking up boots of speed that doesn't have it just quite yet no picks up a staff of teleportation and now is wandering around will be able to teleport back with the rest of the un or night elf army meanwhile down over here ancient of war and with a whole bunch of mercenaries is attempting to clear out this creep camp warden is getting a good amount of experience and if a fan of knives becomes available or if it does hit level two all of the harassment that lucifer is doing is pretty much going to be for naught all right that um, warden able to slip through that death knight still sitting only at level one if it was at level two with that many ghouls you got to imagine that the warden would have been surrounded and that staff of teleportation would need to have been used even after suffering a good a bit of damage now coming back down across over here the warden does spot this army and are we going to see a surround yes we are a surround right there dust of appearance blink away and yeah that was a nice use there making sure to use a use a dust of appearance only to force him to cast a blink blink and shadow strike two still very very powerful i uh, powerful spells there as we're now looking at the warden still doing a bit of solo harassment meanwhile the warden is going to be coming across over here in just a moment maybe able to land a shadow strike onto some unsuspecting ghouls is it going to pick up any strong items there is a shadow strike right there that warden now getting very close to level three death knight now sitting at level two and also has unholy aura warden does not have the 
Boots of Speed. The Death Knight has a Replenishment Potion as the Death Knight is slowly getting in front of that Warden. That Warden does, in fact, blink across, though, and now get to level 3. Level 2 Shadow Strike and then land on the Death Knight. Death Knight now taking about 30 damage every 4 seconds or so as the Warden is going to be forced to retreat again. Does have enough mana for a blink away. Also has a Staff of Teleportation if mana is not available. And we're still looking at the Ancient of War still trying to keep its health points up as the archers and all the piercing damage is being thrown at this giant sea turtle. Warden sitting at level 3, going after a gargantuan and giant sea turtle creep camp. Goblin Shredder with its medium attack, going to deal a lot of damage here, and there it goes. Let's take a look back across over here. Wisp, going to do a little bit of repairing perhaps. Yes, repairing that Ancient of War can also repair that Goblin Shredder. As we're now looking at the Death Knight sitting at level 2, and the Death Knight now needs to play a little bit of catch up as well. During the early segment, Sonic did a great job of maintaining the experience advantage, even while being harassed or doing some harassing of his own. The Warden is now just shy of level 4, and a level 4 Warden um, can be extremely, extremely deadly. Um, even more so a level 5, we saw how effective blink can be on a map, but there is no easy ways to blink into the backside of this particular base. Short of dropping perhaps um, um, some opening open spaces with some sort of like glaive throwers, there is no easy way to get in and out of all of these really bad situations. Alright, let's take a look around. A ghoul is right there and he just simply takes it down with a shadow strike all right let's take a look back across over here are we gonna see a blink across goblin zeppelin is already there all right there is that shadow strike there's a death coil and that ghoul is going to have um, the ability to get away as we now see the warden trying to run away and doing so very very slowly warden already at seven armor though going to be difficult to take out but that warden needs that last bit of experience in order to move around the map freely without having to worry about mana warden at level three blink has oh my goodness can't even talk straight right now fighting off a little bit of a cold and a headache level three level five warden with level three blink has 10 um, t what 10 mana per blink and it is also very very fast and effective the cooldown is so low and the cost is so low that the warden can pretty much get in and out of any bad situation while still being relatively low on mana tome of strength plus two off to the north i don't believe the warden has seen it yet as it was well as it was cleared out while the warden was away. All right, Renegade Wizard going to get taken out. There it goes. Claws of Attack plus six. That warden still generating a good bit of um, what of experience while she is away from all of the action and her army. Is this solo warden technique going to work? The warden needs about 300 more experience to get to level five. And you can see there are a lot of ghouls off over here. That's actually going to be a very dangerous spot to be in as an acolyte is going to end up getting taken down. There it goes. Warden may be able to head off to the north here in just a moment. Is going to spot a little bit of the undead army here as there are still a large number of ghouls. No fan of knives, no breath of fire as of yet as the warden perhaps going to land a shadow strike off on... Nope, no units with a shadow strike as of yet as the ghouls now with ghoul frenzy it appears moving around very very quickly you can take a look at fast movement speed very fast um, very fast movement speed fast attack speed as those ghouls are just able to chase around so so quickly all right those ghouls gonna be able to get down some surrounds but that warden is very very high on damage indeed as the warden now does blink away takes a little bit of damage once more are we perhaps gonna see this claws of attack plus six or this tome of strength be picked up 50 additional hit points plus six additional attack gonna be very very important as the warden now gets a rejuvenation as well that Tome of Strength still off to the north. Is it worth it for the Warden to head back up there? It does not look like she's even aware of it, but does have plus 20 attack between the Claws of Attack plus 6, 9, and Orb of Venom. Plus 20 damage in addition to that damage over time with that Poison debuff. And now we're looking at the Death Knight, Lich, looking to clear out a Bronze Drake Creep Camp. One destroyer is up in the air. Tome of Intelligence was left behind. 
you can see a spiked collar was dropped and that could mean or most likely will mean that warden will get mana burned just a bit all right oh tries to blink towards the ghouls ends up blinking away from them as the warden is now going to be trying to put down pressure here all right there is also a goblin zeppelin here but the Hippogriff is here to place down a bit of pressure again. All right, some damage. Orba Venom isn't going to be able to shoot it down. Yes, it does shoot that down there. And now this is going to be, potentially be a problem. The Warden can perhaps easily kill out some of these ghouls, but needs to do something going after some of these ghouls here. Meanwhile, at the base, the ghouls are going after the Moonwell. This is turning into a base trade situation. And the ghouls are actually the best unit you can hope for for a base trade for the undead. The Crypt Fiend's not that great. The Destroyer's not that great. But the Ghouls, with their normal attack and very, very fast movement speed, are able to get around very quickly. All right, Bears now ready to go. There's a Rejuvenation. All of the Moonwells are pretty much lost as Sonic needs to try and win a fight straight up here. Level 5 on the Warden. Are you going to see the Moonwell get, uh, get back up? Shadow Strike quickly onto the Lich. No mana on that Warden as of yet, but does have a potion of mana. And now going after that Destroyer. Destroyer is taking a little bit of damage there as we still see more attacks going across. All right. Um, mana burn coming in from that. A quick Dryad Dispel as the Warden is going to try and catch up to it. Death Coil does help Frost Armor and still more damage coming across. Abomination still in the front. You see level 3 now on that Lich. Lich. Lich gets another death coil, another chance at life, while the Warden is being forced to retreat once more. No more Moonwells, and that is the big, big issue. All right, death coil coming across. Undead continuing to lay down all of this damage as the Warden just wants the Lich. Will it be able to get that Lich? That is the question. Scroll of Town Portal now transferred over as we now see a Shadow Strike go down on the Dark Ranger right before the teleport goes off. Judah of the Claws, Archers, Forest Troll Berserkers, all the remaining units to try and defend. The Warden now going to look to pressure on, on the opposite end. Let's take a look at the supply count. 42 over 50 compared to 41 over 20. And that means that the Night Elf player Sonic here is going to try and, well, Players perhaps use items to make up some of that difference. You can see off over here that Hawk is just going to simply fly away. Are we going to look at a potion of, in, of invisibility? We'll be able to head back over here, perhaps clear out some of these acolytes here. But you do have to be concerned because the Goblin Zeppelin can still pick up all of those acolytes and make all of this harassment pretty much moot. We need about 76 more experience. And one of the biggest resources right now for the Night Elf is going to be the mana on these Druids of the Claw. The more mana these Druids of the Claw have, the better it's going to be for an upcoming battle. You can see that there is going to be... Oh, Shadow Strike now coming across. The Warden and the Death Knight are duking it out and dueling. As the, you can see, the Death Knight is just trying to run away. Dark Ranger was resurrected. There is another Shadow Strike. And the Warden does use a Potion of Invulnerability in time. Dark, or no, excuse me, Death Pact now used by the Death Knight as it was only level 1 Unholy Aura as the Warden is still chasing after that unit. All right, Warden in a little bit of trouble. Will it get? No. Frost Nova from the Lich saves the Death Knight. And that pretty much will be the game. Well, no, no GG as of yet. It looks as though it's going to be a resurrection as the Death Knight is still very, very low on hit points. The Dryad's going to head off over here, perhaps resurrect the Warden. Warden can Staff of Teleportation to the uh, back home, and it is going to use a little bit of Moonwells and get a little bit more mana again. As you can see, already up to 175, 192, nearly maxed out mana. May want a Clarity Potion as well, as the units are now looking to back up once more. All right, that Warden is very, very high on hit points, and it could try and assassinate the rest of these units here take them down you can see that the the dryads are now looking to try and poke crypt fiends are off over here bears are now coming in is the warden going to be able to get there in time that is the million dollar question right now as you can see the bears are coming across all right let's take a look bear in trouble no staff of preservation shadow strike onto the death knight dark death pact quickly takes down a crypt fiend abomination is right there as well and what an interesting turn of events here all right we may see another death pact no 
Potion of Lesser Invulnerability, level 6 now on the Warden. Warden going to drop down the Avatar of Vengeance, and it will start to eat through so many of these units. How, however, is it going to take down the Lich? Yes, it will. Lich is now down. Dark Ranger... Um, Dark Ranger is still alive. Death Knight is in trouble. Is it going to be able to get away? Warden sitting at level, well, sitting at level 6. 61 mana. No easy way for a Death Coil, but does get the victory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game 2. Uh, wow. Sonic being able to turn that around. That Death Knight ventured forth. Didn't really regenerate that many hit points, and that ultimately was his downfall. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.